right, y'all. So it's the real DJ Red again, and we are on day two right now for this weekend. Um, on my way to another event, this early morning event. Um, it's a, I guess you can call it a Caribbean workout. Um, it's called In the Fat Fitness. Uh, fat meaning party that term comes from the islands f-e-t-e -E. um that term comes from the islands uh anybody from from the islands um especially like barbados trinidad uh guyana uh, places like that that you they they have fets which are like big parties or whatever so this one here is in the fat fitness so it's going to be a lot of Caribbean music. Um, Afro beats is getting real big right now. Um, we're going to have Soka and I believe one dance hall song, but it's more on an up tempo vibe. Um, this is my second time doing this event with this uh, with these uh, group of people here, but the main person who's in charge of it. Uh, I've been doing her stuff for maybe the last seven years now. Um, from the time that I did her birthday party, then from her birthday party, it led to her wedding. And then from the wedding, it led to um, me doing her daughter's Sweet 16. I've watched her daughter growing up from her daughter's Sweet 16. And then... Um, from her daughter's Sweet 16 to the daughter's trunk party. Now she's going off to college and stuff like that. I've done her husband's party, uh, other relatives' party and stuff like that. So it's been an ongoing process. These are my regulars. Um, and uh, it's, it's just a fun, fun group of people, fun group of people from different backgrounds of the Caribbean. Um, uh, Haiti, Trinidad, Barbados, Jamaica, um, Guyana, you got some Americans there as well, so you'll see it once, once we get in, everyone is going to have their flags there, so you'll see it once we get there.
All right, y'all, so I am just leaving Miami-Dade College where um, Colin Kaepernick is scheduled to be here as well as uh, Andrew Gillum, which he's running for uh, governor for Florida. I uh, wish I could have stayed around for it. I did meet Andrew before the uh, for the runoff and very, very cool guy. Um, and I guess a lot of people underestimated that he would make it this far. Um, and I would really like to meet Colin Kaepernick as well, but um, I got to get down to this other event. So just set up one one event just now which uh dj amani which normally works for my brother he's uh, going to be doing that when i had to go there to make sure i uh, get the generator there and um that is that on that part now we're heading down to the other party that i'm doing so we'll go from there see y'all when i get that piece all right so i am done y'all i didn't get any video from this event put on my seatbelt while I'm rolling to the stop sign um, basically this event was a surprise party for uh, my customer's husband which um, he just graduated from the Academy for Corrections um, I congratulated him on that, and he was like, man, everybody been giving me advice, and, um, you know, what advice can you give me? Well, I'm going to tell you, uh, learning from experience from uh, someone else that I knew from corrections that was high rank, I mean, above sergeant and correction officer or whatever, uh, one continue to pray every day that's one second thing is things and people things and people will approach you um, while you're in there one because you're new and they might look at you different or whatever the case may be but um, you're going to want to do that pray every day um, keep your nose clean. I don't care what happened. If anything goes on, one of the things that you might want to do before you do anything, especially if somebody is approaching, approaching you about something that you know might jeopardize your career, your job, or your livelihood, think about your daughter. He has a uh, one-year-old daughter because I just did their baby shower not too long ago. Think about your daughter before you do anything. Is it worth it? Think about your daughter's mom. You know, he told me that he's getting ready to propose to her and he wants me there for the engagement party and stuff like that. Um, you want to think about all of that stuff before you um, do anything. And um, you know, uh, the other thing is, I told him, make sure you pray every day because there are some people that will do some things to you and for you that really don't have you in their good intentions. And it's not even so much about haters or anything. It's just to the point that they don't care on who they mess up, who careers they mess up or whatever. They might look at him as a threat and stuff like that. So, you know, again, you got to pray. You got to look out for whoever approaches you on some nonsense or whatever and go from there. Anyway, this is DJ Red. I'm done for the night. I'm going to gas up. As you can see, I'm at the gas pump my gas up right down and um, I'm going to hit the road and I'm getting up out of here uh, thanks to everyone that followed me
Um, I just seen tonight that there was a new follower. Um, I'm gonna do one video alone just to a shout out to all of my new followers. And I'm gonna call all of my new followers by name. I know I've, uh, I've set a goal mentally as far as how many uh, followers and subscribers that I was looking for. And I've surpassed that without even thinking of it. And I'm gonna shout out each and every one of y'all. I'm gonna sit down and do that video tomorrow. I'm gonna shout out each and every one of y'all by name. Once I'm done tomorrow, once I'm done editing this video, I'm gonna make sure I shout out each and every one of y'all by name. And, um, and I'm gonna thank you for that. So again, it's Dove Real DJ Red with two Ds. Um, thank you all for following me and uh, subscribing and stuff like that. Thank you for liking my videos, sharing. And again, any questions that you guys might have, whether it be on equipment, how to handle the situation as far as business, um, contracts, how to get deposits from customers, how to deal with certain customers, how to deal with weddings, parties, clubs, what have you. Um, just leave a comment on there. Uh, if you want me to respond to you individually or you want me to leave it in the in the comment section on the video, you can do that. If, if not, no, just uh, leave me a, an, an email and I respond to everyone. I respond to everyone within due time or whatever. Um, you know, if it's during the week or whatever, usually I respond to everyone within a reasonable time. Um, but we can go from there. So anyway, let me get off of here right now. Again, I thank each and every one of you from the bottom of my heart. Trust me. Um, everyone that subscribed, you, 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 you mean a lot to me. And we go from there. Um, shout out to all of my DJs that follow me. All of my DJs that follow me. And make sure you subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And then uh, we'll go from there. Peace. All right. So I just got home. Uh, did uh, two events today. I just want to make this video real quick. And I'm posting it on social media and everything else. Um, to the younger generation, y'all need to know who y'all voting for. And y'all need to know about all of these candidates and stuff. Uh, even earlier tonight, um, I'm finding out from uh, other people or whatever that some people don't even know who Andrew Gillum is. There's some people that don't know who Colin Kaepernick is. Um, I've even seen a post of um, college students not knowing where to get stamps from or something to that sort, which really, really bothers me. Um, if you don't know who, if you're a resident of Florida and you don't know who Andrew Gillum is, then I really feel sorry for you. Um, if you don't know who Colin Kaepernick is, um, it's a slight chance maybe you don't know or you don't follow um, no football players for the NFL. Uh, it's a, maybe a slight chance that you just don't know. I might give you that much, but if you live in Florida and you have not heard the name um, Andrew Gillum or anything like that, then where have you been and what have you been doing? Because apparently, if you're old enough to vote and you don't know who Andrew Gillum is, then what are you doing? That's, that's really my question. What are you doing? If you don't know who Andrew Gillum is, and, and this is not even to say 
hey, uh, you're, you're Republican or you're Democrat or whatever, if you don't know who Andrew Gillum is and you're old enough to vote and you're a resident of, a resident of Florida, what the hell are you doing?